Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Channel Skyrim and the Dawnguard DLC. So, due to a popular vote between the Civil War, the College of Winterhold, the Dark Brotherhood, and Dawnguard storylines, a massive 60% voted for the Dawnguard storyline. Now, when I say massive, I mean five people to answer my question. Three for the Dawnguard, one for the Dark Brotherhood, and one for the College. Now, I, can't, I clearly can't refuse such a tidal wave of enthusiasm, so here we are, off to join the Dawnguard. Anyway, I thought I'd show the journey to Dayspring Canyon whilst I'm having a bit of a chat. Um, I don't have a video of me being asked to join the Dawnguard, uh, but for your information, the first quest can be started by listening for rumours or asking whole guards about a group of vampire hunters who are recruiting. This will steer you in the direction of Fort Dawnguard and the storyline will begin. At level 10, Durak will directly approach you and suggest you join the Dawnguard. Alternatively, the quest line can be started as early as level 1 by going to Fort Dawnguard via Dayspring Canyon at any time and interacting with the applicants and Dawnguard members. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this storyline, either pure walkthroughs or playthrough style, as it's often the case a new quest is started midway through a quest you're actually on. Make it pretty tricky editing-wise to get nice clean cutoffs uh, between quests. So I'm gonna play it by ear. Now, most importantly, I really want to say thanks all you guys. I just hit 100 subscribers. Now, I know it sounds cheesy, but I'm absolutely blown away. I didn't think I'd get a single subscriber and would just be talking to myself in the wide and dark space that is the internet. Uh, most of you guys in the US, but there's a fair sprinkling from all around the world. So hi and thanks to each and every single one of you. Well, it looks like we've got some spriggin' action going on up here. So uh, let's take care of some bears too. Let's deal with these guys. <laughs> okay, I'm getting zapped from somewhere. Oh, that's not my Stormy. Is that my Stormy? Nope, that's not my Stormy. Okay. Um, okay, job done. I think, yep. Okay, nom nom. Anyway, when uh, you people usually do this kind of thing, they uh, say what their plans are for the future, blah, 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 blah. Uh, truth is, guys, I don't know. Uh, I do know uh, I need around a thousand subscribers, so YouTube will start allowing my channel to be seen. Uh, they've changed the algorithm rules now. Um, but whatever way the channel goes, uh, I would like a channel that has a 10, 100 or 1,000 plus subscribers. Oh, here's another one. Uh, and I'm getting 10, 100 or 1,000 plus people watching and commenting on the videos. Um, for me, it will be a failure from five years. I have, uh, say, 10,000 subscribers that videos are only getting a couple of hundred views. Um, I'd much rather have a couple of hundred subscribers and getting a couple of hundred views, if that makes sense. Anyway, whilst we're fanning around, I think I should also mention that I may start doing some live streaming on the weekends and days off. Um, and I'd like to know if, uh, A, if any of you would be interested in me making an absolute ask myself, and B, as it seems most of my subscribers are spread out all over the world, uh, but mainly in America, what times you guys would prefer me to do it? So let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And it'd be great if I got more than five people commenting this time. <laughs> anyway, cracking on. Yeah, I'm kind of glad to be getting out of uh, Solstheim. That was uh, dragging a bit, but there's so many bits and bobs that I had to tie up. Um, I've still got to do my Endgame Armour video. And uh, that should be quite good. In fact, that was one of the main reasons I went to Solstein, to be honest with you. And where are we here? I do, I do like this part of Skyrim. Spriggans are a pain in the hole, to be honest with you, but uh, it is nice down here. Do I hear another bloody bear? Yes, I do. Where are you? Where are you? 
And oh, there's another soul. Oh, there you are. Oh, bugger. Okay, run, 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 run. You're gonna make me hurt you, aren't you? Oh, two of the buggers. Piss off. There you go. Don't mess with the Dover King. Yeah, if you guys have got any suggestions on what you'd like me to do, or indeed uh, as an alternative game to Skyrim, or run in conjunction with Skyrim, uh, just let me know. Um, in fact, if you've got any comments at all about the channel, uh, what you like, what you don't like, again, let, let me know, because uh, I, I kind of want to do stuff that you people like. So, if you tell me, it makes my job a lot easier. Anyway, there's a, a chest here and a few nommy bits. Okay. Uh, scroll over here, I think, somewhere. I think there's a scroll somewhere. Uh, bone mill, nope. Ah, there it is. Uh, scroll frame, actually. Like. I don't really need it, I can, I can sell it. And if I remember rightly, there's a skill book somewhere around here as well. Uh, what's in here? Free gold, yippee. Okay, I'm doing this as a blind uh, uh, playthrough, by the way. Ah, there's a skill book. Come on, come on, come on, get to, there you go. Oh, destruction, that's good. Come on. Tom Muchley, okay. So there you go, guys, it's worth coming here. Yeah, as far as other things like uh, making money out of uh, YouTube, you, you got honestly, guys, you don't. Uh, unless you've kind of got the few million subscribers, you, you don't make anything at all. Um, I think even 20,000, 30,000 subscribers, you don't make hardly anything. Um, so that's, that side of it doesn't really bother me at all. Um, though it would be nice to be able to get enough money to... Uh, oh, spiders. Um, replace my equipment every now and again or upgrade it if it needs it. But uh, I can live without that. Yeah, as you can see, you can get this journey can be fraught with dangers. By the way, and yeah, we're not far away now. I could have come with Shadowmere, but it's uh, it's more fun. Hold on, someone's getting attacked by wolves. Let's give him a hand. That's one. That's it. Oh, it's Mike. Oh, I love this little fella. Skyrim are more open-minded about certain things than people in other places. Are they really? Mike knows why farmer are blind. It has nothing to do with the dweller disappearing. Really? Doesn't it? <laughs> Mike has heard it is dangerous to be your friend. That is true. Mike is tired. <laughs> I actually know people like him in real life. Anyway, so we've discovered the uh, the entrance, and there you go. Yeah, looking through uh, Reddit's uh, forums and um, other forums, uh, some people are reporting that the marker for Dayspring Canyon is um, uh, showing it somewhere else. I don't know if that's uh, been patched or whatever, but as long as you're on that road, you, you can't really miss it. Though again, guys, come prepared for, um, you know, a, a lot of bother. Bears, spriggans and those kind of annoying uh, things. Okay, so all we do now is just uh, trot along down here. I think this guy's here to actually show you to the uh, the actual force itself. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, I, th I think the first few times uh, you're going to um, fast travel to uh, uh, away from the uh, the castle itself. So uh, you'll have to put up with running for a few times at least. You've 
probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm sure he'll take me. Actually, interesting enough, since I've been in Solstheim, I've had very few dragon attacks um, and very, very few vampire attacks. No, I had finished the main quest line before that, so that may expa explain the dragons, but uh, yeah, not so much the um, the vampires. Which is good, because vampire attacks can be a pain in the neck. And you can lose uh, valuable NPCs as well. Pain in the neck. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Okay, now if you want to get, you can pick off some steel bolts if you want to spend your time searching them. And, uh,. I probably won't do it myself, but um, once you've gone through all this um, joining the Dawn Guard bit, uh, spend some time hunting around uh, the castle to pick up uh, some uh, half decent weapons and uh, steel bolts. The only thing more surprising than hearing from Isran after all these years was hearing that he wanted my help. I immediately realized things must be pretty bad. Looks like I was right. Okay, you can enter some dialogue with him, but. Uh, can't bother with that. Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. So who are you? What do you want? Vigilance are under attack everywhere. I heard you were looking for vampire hunters. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. What can I, I do to help? The field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back in shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell her about what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Okay. The vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, okay, so we've joined the Dawn Guard, and now it's the Awakening. Now you're going to get a crossbow here, hunt around the castle for bolts. I'm not going to use it for a while. There isn't much. Um, I'm going to wait till I've got the enhanced crossbow. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do. No, Tonon, you don't want to do that. Tonon, I don't think that's a good idea. It's a very bad idea, Tonon. I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. I really wouldn't, Tolan. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's up to you, boy. The shadows and step up here. What's your name? Okay, now one really great way to pick up arrows is uh, let this guy join the Dawn Guard. Do I look like a servant? I'm not a soldier, and you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. Is he talking to Jenis, huh? Step forward. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand off, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Uh, crossbow? I never. A crossbow. Best thing for okay, uh, if you're going to use a crossbow, um, just what I suggest you do is run around the castle. There's loads of interesting places, a few bits and bobs to uh, pick up, but you're going to find lots of steel bolts. Uh, and in certain places, I think you can find electric bolts or explosive bolts. Um, and you can come back, and where he's shooting at the moment, you can pick up a load of bolts from there. Um, but uh, I'm not going to bother doing that. 
I'm going to head off and start the uh, awakening uh, quest and I think we all know who we're going to meet there. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, again, thanks for subscribing to the channel. It's been, uh, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic for me to get 100 subscribers. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.